Welcome to section 4.1.4, part two. We ran out of time on the other one, but we do need to cover this. We are going through fast. This one will cover tables to rules and rules to patterns. So we're going to show you the tables that they gave you in the book. Now, remember, if I can put this under here, that this is going to represent growth and this is the starting point. Let's connect it with what we saw in the pattern. In the pattern, this was the amount being added each time, and this was the number of tiles in figure zero. I hope you kind of remember where you see those things in the table. For example, I see figure zero, remember X is my figure number, so figure zero would be right here. So how many tiles in this case are in figure zero? It says negative two. We're not going to talk about how to represent negative two as a number of tiles, but that is what how many there are. And so if we're following this pattern here, that should go in for B. Then it said the amount being added each time. Well, if I look at this table, how much does it say is being added to the Y each time? It says that five is being added. So my rule is going to be first, That'll tell me that um, I'm going to change this to, or I'm going to put in negative 2, because that's the number of tiles in the first. I don't need to put plus negative 2, so I'm just going to kind of erase that. And then I need to put in how much it's going up by. It's going up by 5. Now, the book doesn't tell you this, but right now, if this is going up by 1, which it is, then this will work. If it's going up by another number, we'll show you how to do that in another lesson or maybe at the end of this one if we have time. If I continued the table, you would see that this would be 3, 8, 13, 18, 23, and 28. And the change is going up by 5. We want to have some practice doing it with some more. So let's look at this one here. And what are we looking for for the starting point or the number of tiles in figure zero? We're looking for zero as a figure number or zero in the X. And then we're looking to see the number here. The number here is five. And so I know that that's going to be five. Then I'm looking for how much it's going up by each time. This is going up by two. And I'm going to ask you to check just to make sure these are going up one at a time. And they are. So you're going to be able to do the, the rule. So it's going up by 2. So this rule is going to be y equals 2x plus 5. Let's do it one more time. Find out where figure number is 0 here. Or it doesn't have to be the figure number. It's whatever the x, whenever the x is 0, what's the y that goes with it? In this case, it's 7. Now, if I look at these, these are not going up. They are going down, down by 3. And by the way, this number right here is wrong in your book and some of the older books. It's going down by 3. So this time, I'm going to say my rate of change is negative 3. So it's negative 3x plus 7. So how does that fit into my chart? Okay. Now I'm going to say how to write this rule from a table. Remember that this is my M, and the other is my B, right up there, even though you can't see it in there right now. So the number that's going to go here was the amount, I'm going to say the amount of change in the Y's for one unit of X. That's what I mean when you look here. These are going up by one X. The X's are going up by one. And then how much does each Y go up for that? Okay. Remember that we've got we got our B, 
our starting point, the number of tiles in figure zero, by finding where x is zero in the table, and we looked at its y. So for the b, we're going to write down that it will be the y value when x is zero. Okay. Now, I want to show you, because um, we have just a little bit of time, that's, uh, I want to tie back into the table, and I want to show you what would happen. I'm going to go back to this first table, and I'm going to pretend for a moment, let's say they didn't give us this one or this one. Okay? If we didn't have those numbers or that one, I'm going to look up. How much is the top going up by? Now, it's going up by 2. Going up by 2. Let's see, how much is the bottom going up by now? It's going up by 10. Since it's going up by 10, I want to find out the unit rate, not for 2. So, an easy way to do that is just to take the amount that the Y is changing, and divide it by the amount the x is changing. And I will get 10 over 2, or 5. Remember, that's what I got when I wrote the rule last time. It makes sense that if for every 2 in the x it goes up 10, that for 1 it would go up half as much, or 5. And so that's another way to find the rate. Remember that that was the change in y's over the change in your x's. That's the same as you, you saw when you did your growth triangle, but this is how it shows itself in the tables. Now we have one more thing to do. Uh, let's see if I can find it. We need to write a pattern from a rule. This is problem 29 in the book. They give us y equals 4x plus 3. Now, the only thing you've got to make sure is that when you write a pattern that you're consistent. How many tiles are going to be in figure 0? 3. So I know that figure 0 has 3. So I'm going to just go ahead and put 3 tiles there. I, I'm not doing it fancy, I'm doing it a way that's consistent. So, in figure one, I find the growth rate. The growth rate is four. So that means I'm going to start with these three, and then I'm going to put four more onto it. And I do not care how you do it as long as you're consistent. I'm choosing right now just to put them right on the end. So there's my four I added, and they should look the same size, but I messed up. Figure two is going to be the three I started with. The four more that I added again. And now I need to add another four. And so they don't have to be complicated. Now, just like on this one, when you do your pattern, here there was a, something you could see. They added one on each side. Let's see if I can... Okay. They added one on each end, and then two on this side. One on each end, two on each side. So when you're writing your pattern, you can make any pattern you want, but be consistent. They added them to the outside, they added them to the outside. I wouldn't want to do something here like add one here and then on the next one show it adding one there and then adding one more here because that's not consistent. So I want to keep my pattern the same way that it was. Good luck and hope this helps.